Stefanin theorem for circuit analysis. Consider the following circuit. The voltage supply. With a load resistor. Resistor R1, R2, and R3. V supply. The aim of the Thevenin theorem is to reduce this complex circuit to a single voltage supply and a series resistor, which would look like this. V, this V would now be the V, the Thevenin, Thevenin voltage. The single resistor would be the resistor Thevenin. And the RL would be attached to this circuit. This circuit would behave exactly like this circuit as it, as it relates to the load. So we will now continue to show you how to calculate the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin resistance. Calculating the Thevenin voltage. The first step in calculating the Thevenin voltage is to remove the load resistor. As seen here, the load resistor is now removed. We, we will now try, we will now find the voltage that will appear across here. In other words, if you were to put a voltmeter across here, what voltage would we get? That voltage would be the Thevenin voltage. Note that because this resistor from this point to this point here, with the load removed, is an, um, this point is an open circuit, no current flows into this resistor. Therefore, there is no voltage drop across this resistor. Hence, the voltage here across these two points would be the same as the voltage across this point and that point. So, the Thevenin voltage would be the voltage measured at this point with respect to this point. So, how do we calculate the voltage at this point? Well, look carefully and you will see that this circuit is a voltage divider circuit. So, using the voltage divider principle, we will now calculate the voltage, the Thevenin voltage at this point. The V Thevenin is equals to the V supply divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by R2. And that would give us the Thevenin voltage at this point. Let us now calculate the Thevenin voltage for this circuit. A V supply of 24 volts, R1 equals 8 ohms, R2 equals 4 ohms, R3 equals 6 ohms. Remember the, the Thevenin voltage, which is the voltage at the open load, is the same as the voltage at this point because there's no current flow in, the, in, in R3. So, calculating the Thevenin voltage, V Thevenin is equal to 24 volts divided by 8 plus 4 ohms multiplied by 4 ohms. That gives 24 volts divided by 12 ohms times 4 ohms equals to 12 12 into 24, 2 by 4 equals to 8 volts. So the 7 in voltage is 8 volts. The second to last step in producing the Thevenin equivalent circuit is to find the Thevenin resistance. To find the Thevenin resistance, the first step is to remove the voltage source. Now a voltage source is removed by shorting the points across the voltage source. Of course, in real 
practical circuit, you wouldn't you would not physically short a voltage display because it would actually destroy it. But for circuit analysis purposes, we short the point across where the supply is. Now, if you look carefully at these two resistors here, you will see that this resistor now, resistor R1, is now in parallel with resistor R2 because this point here is uh, effectively at this point here. So we can draw an equivalent circuit to show, to show this. So now we have, we have R2, we still have R3, now we have R1 in parallel with R2. R2 is 4 ohms, R1 8 ohms. And we have this point here, across this point, we are looking to use an ohmmeter to measure the resistance. And the resistance measured across this point would be the Thevenin resistance. Now, how do we calculate the Thevenin resistance? Note carefully that since R1 and R2, they are now in parallel, we can use the formula for two resistors in parallel to find the equivalent resistor of these two and then simply add that resistance to the value of R3 and that would give us the Thevenin resistance. So let us do that for this arrangement. We can write that the R Thevenin is equals to R1 in parallel with R2 plus R3. This gives R Thevenin is equals to 8 by 4 over 8 plus 4 plus 6 ohms, which equals 8 fours are 32 divided by 12 plus 6 equals so using the calculator 32 divided by 12 equals equals 2.67 and we add the 6 and that gives us 8 0.67 ohm. So the R Thevenin equals 8.67 ohm. Now the final step in producing the Thevenin equivalent circuit is actually drawing the circuit with the values for the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin resistance noted on the circuit. So we draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit, we draw like this, and we say now this is V Thevenin, and in this case, the V Thevenin, remember previously, we, we got the V Thevenin to be um, 8 ohms, sorry, 8 volts, right? So we have, right, 8 volts, R Thevenin, we just calculated as 8.67 ohms, and we complete the circuit by drawing on the lower resistor which can be of any value.